two, one. Well, Shades of Childhood, the story of Babar the Elephant has been made into a movie. I'm Henry Tenenbaum. I'll let you know whether this particular Babar is an elephant or a dog. Okay, are you ready? No! Me neither! There are so few G-rated movies out there that I always hate to criticize the ones that do come out. But I'm going to have to make an exception with Babar the Movie. It is a feature-length cartoon, but the animation is not great. For example, the character's facial features. They look like they were inspired by a bowl of Cheerios. And this story is much more violent than the Babar that I remember from the storybooks as a child. This is sort of a cross between Rambo and Dumbo. <laughs> Babar the Gentle Elephant King has been around as a storybook character for almost 60 years now. This movie version chronicles the early days of his reign when the kingdom was threatened by a band of renegade rhinos. My mama's in terrible danger. Why won't anyone believe me? I believe you, Celeste, and I really do want to help. And so our placid pachyderm is transformed into a veritable Indiana elephant and proceeds to vanquish his foes. All in all, it's about the same quality you'll find on Saturday morning television. Sure, you don't get commercials here, but you do pay for admission. Sorry, Babar, you're no Roger Rabbit. Now, according to the credits, five different people worked on this movie's screenplay. That's amazing when you consider that it only took two people to write Citizen Kane, which this movie is not. What it is is a three out of ten. Babar the Movie is a great reason to stay home and read the kids a story. I'm Henry Tenenbaum.